Welcome to Meg's Motorcycle Journey, where we explore the world on two wheels. This channel will follow me on my journey to become a better rider and explore my love of all things motorcycles. So, we were all ready to leave for PA, for the Grand Canyon of PA this morning. And, of course, nothing can go as planned, because I'm clearly in a bike shop and not in Pennsylvania. Um, th big thanks to Little Hops that had to help me last minute, but essentially woke up, had a kickstand issue. My bike was falling down further than it would have been. And um, so I had to come here because we didn't want to get all the way out of town and have my bike fall. Nothing can go as planned. Hey guys, so I did have a little issue with my kickstand, but I was fortunate that Little Hops agreed to help me figure that out. Um, so I was still able to go on the trip, which I was really grateful for. Um, this is some footage of us coming from Maryland to Pennsylvania. As I mentioned, we were planning on taking a trip to see the Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania, also known as Pine Creek Gorge. I'd had a couple of friends that went there and said that it was absolutely fantastic riding, and they were not wrong. So Pine Creek Gorge is located in central northern Pennsylvania. It's about three and a half hours from the top of Maryland, um, from Carroll County, where we grew up. So we thought about taking the quickest route, but decided to settle for a more scenic route. Both cameraman and I enjoy back roads more than we enjoy highway riding. So this was a little mix of both, but as you can tell, the scenery in the mountains is absolutely gorgeous. We were having some camera issues as well. Um, our camera mount, a little screw, came loose and um, so it was a little shakier. Cameraman found a way to fix it, um, at least a little bit, but the footage was a little shakier than he would have liked. But I think it still shows a fantastic view and uh, a good picture of the ride that we took on the way there. And hopefully you guys will enjoy our trip. Hey guys sort of in the middle of nowhere in PA. We just ate lunch at this Path Valley family restaurant. It was delicious. I really prefer to stop at some of these local places rather than going to fast food when you're Amish country. So um, there's a lot of horses and buggies, which is kind of cool. Uh, we're still about two hours out from where we're staying um, at Pine Creek Gorge, but we will keep you updated. One of our favorite things about traveling to different places is being able to try local restaurants and explore the local area. As you guys know, we are small business owners, so we really are passionate about supporting small businesses, especially local business. And some of the best restaurants I've ever eaten at are local restaurants that have local fare um, and sometimes specials that go along with the culture. So we really enjoyed having lunch there. Um, each place that we go, we try to find a, a cool little local place if we can, instead of eating, you know, at a fast food restaurant or something like that. So hopefully you guys will enjoy seeing some of the restaurants that we stop at on our journey. So I'm, you can see the train right here, which is actually really cool. I'm not going to lie. I have been to some parts of Pennsylvania, even through the mountains. did a pretty good ride out Route 30 last year to see um, the 9-11 Memorial, which was a beautiful ride as well. But they were nothing like this ride. The mountains were absolutely breathtaking. The views here were just incredible. We were really lucky the first two days, so Monday and Tuesday, we got nice weather. It was colder than I would have liked, but still um, definitely decent days for riding. But you will hear a little bit later in our next video what happened on our way home. Uh, I clearly have all of our stuff packed on the back of my bike. 
using the sissy bar bag that I got from Viking Bags. If you guys watched my video where I did a giveaway, I walked through the sissy bar bag and how to put it on. I talk about how it can be used as a backrest, and I did use it on this trip as a backrest. Even though it was only supposed to take about three and a half hours to get there, like I said, we took back roads, so it took significantly longer, but I think it was worth it if you look at the views and the scenery. So this is actually when we are getting close to where we were staying. We ended up staying in Lock Haven, Pennsylvania, which was, I think, about 14 miles from the start of Pine Creek Gorge. We were fortunate in that we were able to ride all around the gorge. We wanted to go see the lookout spot, and we also wanted to see some of the waterfalls. So you will get an opportunity to see some of those things because we did tape footage when we were there. This particular road was super cool because you, you had the train tracks right there and then I'm not sure if you can see in any of the footage but on the other side of the train tracks was water. It is always colder to ride on the water but such a beautiful breathtaking view that I enjoy it. So I've mentioned that I want to get to at least five new states this year and that's still the plan. Pennsylvania is not a new state for me but this part of Pennsylvania was new to both myself and cameraman. He's done a lot of riding in various parts of Pennsylvania, um, but he had never been to this particular spot in PA. So both of us really ended up enjoying the riding here. was a long ride but it was worth it because look at that view it's absolutely beautiful um the footage we got on the way here was super awesome so i'm excited to share that with you guys uh but it was a little treacherous getting up here but totally worth it so i'm not sure if you guys can see but where we're staying there is what appears to be a turkey just roaming free on the ground. There's our bikes. Absolutely beautiful view of the mountains. About to go for the day. Pretty exciting. So we like to try to stay in some pretty cool Airbnbs when we go on trips. So this property had uh, a little guest house and another cabin and some other cabins. So it was really neat. But the driveway was treacherous, which you will see in a minute. So it's entirely gravel, and I usually try to message the Airbnb host before we get there and ask whether or not it is accessible by motorcycle. However, I have almost always gotten the answer that it is accessible, and then when we get there, it's not as easily accessible as we were hoping. So actually, cameraman will tell a pretty funny story about when I first started riding a motorcycle and I had my Sportster and it was an early ride that he went on with me and we ended up getting a little lost and hit a dirt road and instead of slowing down I continued to take the dirt road at 40 or 45 miles an hour on my 883 and cameraman was trying to catch up to me but also be safe and yelling at me from afar that I needed to slow down and I was just completely oblivious to it. Since that time, I have gotten a lot more cautious on dirt roads or gravel driveways. So 
this one though was not only a challenge because of the gravel but because you'll see in a minute there's a turn and then a literal cliff on the side of the driveway which is not really an issue aside from it just being a little unnerving but once I did it a couple times I was okay so as I mentioned we lucked out this was the warmest day, I think back in Maryland, it was close to 70 degrees, but here in PA in the mountains, it was just right above 60 degrees. I would have certainly preferred a warmer day, and it got a lot worse than that the day after this, which you will see in our next video. We have some shenanigans on our ride home. There was the cliff I was talking about. You can see right on the edge of that driveway um, is a large cliff with a large drop, which, again, was not actually an issue, just a, a tad unnerving the first time that we got there. So this location, like I said, was in Lock Haven, Pennsylvania, and was about 12 to 15 minutes from the start of the gorge. So... It was a nice distance that we were able to be fairly close to town and be able to go into town and get all the supplies and groceries and gas and things like that that we needed, but still close enough that we were able to get to the gorge and see everything that we wanted to see in one day. Uh, I mentioned that we wanted to get to the lookout point. So if you plan to do this trip yourself, what you should know is that the address, if you Google either the Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania or Pine Creek Gorge, you will get an address on Google that is a pin that is really here at the bottom of the gorge. If you want to see the views, you really need to go to the lookout point, which is actually about an hour and 20 minutes from the bottom of the gorge. We also wanted to see some waterfalls, which was not actually very far from the lookout point, but it's kind of crazy because the lookout point is the highest point in the gorge, and you can look down over the gorge, and you'll see some footage on that. But the falls are near the lowest point of the gorge, and... Again, we had to deal with a dirt road. I actually ended up leaving my bike at sort of the end of the paved portion. Cameraman rode his down onto the dirt gravel road because he's a lot braver than I am with those type of things. And he was able to get some really awesome shots of his bike in front of the water, which are super awesome. I'm a little jealous. I probably should have gone for it. But I, being still a decently new rider. I haven't even been riding for two years. Sometimes get a little unnerved by things like a six mile dirt road, um, but cameraman did really well with it. You'll also get to see some of that footage. Uh, unfortunately, not in this video because I couldn't fit all of the amazing footage that we took in one video. So this will actually be split up over the course of two or three videos and you will get to see sort of our whole trip from start to finish. So um, I know that's a lot of videos on one trip, but truly the video, the pictures, nothing do this justice. We had an amazing time. It was one of the best rides either of us have ever taken. And I can't recommend it highly enough for those of you that are in the Maryland or Pennsylvania area. Cameraman and I were actually talking about maybe in a year or so trying to set up some guided tours to some of the places that we've been that are local and see if anyone was interested in joining us on some adventures. We wanted an opportunity to try to do it ourselves first and iron out all the kinks and understand the best places to ride, the best places to eat, the best places to stay before we extended an invitation to other people. But we were considering offering that type of thing to folks in the next year or so. So 
we're documenting all of these journeys and we are learning something each time that we go someplace new about the best way to travel and how to pack our stuff and how to plan our rides. An important lesson that we learned from this trip, which you'll see later, is that you need to leave time in case something goes wrong a day on either side where you don't have a tight schedule and you don't have to rush to make it home. The other thing that we learned from this trip is that just because something is mapped in a certain way, it might not be there. So it requires some planning and it requires some research into the location that you'll be going to. So hopefully we can use that knowledge and information and maybe have some fun with some of you all eventually uh, in the next, like I said, six months to a year. So I was just blown away by all of the cliffs and the water and the fact that the roads were so empty. It is not a frequent occurrence in the state of Maryland that you will go to a place that has beautiful roads and be basically the only vehicles on the road. And that is some of what we got on this trip. We were fortunate enough to have the road to ourself for the majority of the trip. So like I said, this is us coming into the gorge. There is a long hour and a half ride and you'll get to see some footage from some of the later parts of our trip but this was breathtaking and really a great ride um there was some construction and some divots in the road a little further up but this part of the route was incredibly smooth had some great turns great scenery and is definitely worth a trip if you're in the area. Okay, so we are on Little Pine Creek <laughs> Parkway or something. Um, we're trying to get to the Outlook, which is um, Leonard Harris State Park. It is so beautiful, but oh my god, there's nets everywhere! <laughs> Look at Tacky nuts! So, anyway. Can they see them? I wonder if you could see the nets. Oh my god, they're everywhere! It's like a swarm! <laughs> For those of you who are always telling me to wear a full face helmet and asking me if I get a lot of bugs to the face, the answer is generally no, and I talk about that in a minute, but I got so many bugs to the face while I was there. I'm not sure why. I've ridden in the mountains before, but oh my goodness. At first, I thought they were little pebbles, and I was like, what is that hitting my face? Is there gravel? And then I realized that no, that was in fact bugs. So that was the only less than pleasant thing about the ride but as you could see i wasn't too upset about it i generally don't mind um so i don't think it's going to convert me to a full face helmet girl um i'll still continue to wear my half unless it's freezing i know that upsets a lot of you i would consider like a three-quarter or a modular if i found one that i liked that's cameraman just playing a little bit having a little bit of fun um but yeah i still i still prefer my half helmet i like to feel the wind in my face i feel like with a full face helmet it's not that different from riding in a car and so i'm on a bike because i want to experience all that nature has to offer on my rides and i feel like i get to do that better in a half helmet than i do in a full face helmet and I know a lot of you will tell me that I could communicate better, that I would be safer, and all the many things. But to that I say, to each their own, and ride your own ride.
but I do appreciate everybody's concern about my safety, and I know that y'all are just trying to look out for me, so thank you very much, because your words don't fall on deaf ears. Y'all, we're still dealing with a net attack that I just need you to see the front of Pyramid's bike that was clean before we left. And now it's been attacked by gnats. Gnats are everywhere. Okay. So, once you get away from the woods, the gnats are not as bad as they were. But it's actually definitely colder than I would have liked. I'm wearing a heated vest and my jacket. Um, but that ride was one of the most spectacular rides I've ever had on a bike. So, I think it was worth it. They got this little visitor center here. Oh look, it's like one of those little classes. Oh look, all kinds of stuff. Oh, cool. Pennsylvania's Grand Canyon. Nice. Oh wow, this is even the awesome thing. Oh, uh, that's why. Well, the note itself, if you come here, make sure you bring binoculars. Pretty cool place to go to Oh yeah, I would go. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm happy that we're staying somewhere with a warm shower. Yeah, that did kind of stink not having a shower, but it is what it is sometimes. You got me climbing oh, Wall yeah. of China here. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm 
And you know, you're walking a little faster than normal, you know. Sorry. There you go. I missed all of it. Yeah, I'd do it again. You missed all of it? Yeah. It's because I didn't like where I was standing. I'm good now. Oh, I missed it too because I was distracted by the falling change. You missed that one? Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'd do it again. Really? <laughs> no, I'm just playing, man. But you better just in case I did. That was a good one. Yeah, you better just in case you did. Go. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, yeah. Do it right. Okay. All right, because you. Yeah. Well done. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that's even better. Yeah, I like it when you start walking around in your hands. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, so, who can say they did it against the overlook Pine Creek Gorge? Bug juice on my glasses. Let me zoom in. Let me and like usually, yours isn't even that bad. Mine's brewing. Usually, people say, "Don't you hate when you're in a full, uh, half helmet and you get bugs in your face?" And I really don't usually get very many bugs in my face. It's very rare. I mean, like, I might have one little splatter when I get home usually. But let me tell you, these nuts are something else. <laughs> I've never. Never ridden through anything like that. I hope the cicadas won't be like that. <laughs> we should take some pictures. <sighs> so I keep alluding to what happened on the rest of our trip. And like I said, I'm actually going to make several videos of this trip because we took so much footage. But if you live on the East Coast, you know that it got incredibly cold on Wednesday the 21st. And we were headed home in the snow. So I did have footage of that. And I will be posting that to a video likely on Sunday. I will also show you some of the footage of the falls that I did not include in this video. Just because it had gotten so lengthy. So that is also some really cool footage like I said, I don't think the pictures and the videos do it justice. I am excited for our next trip because we had so much fun on this. And that will be to Myrtle Beach Bike Week, where I hope to meet some of you like I did in Daytona. As I mentioned, I have found a spot. And so as it gets closer, I'll be giving you guys more details. Until next time, ride safe and don't forget to like and subscribe.